All right, I think I have what might be an interesting project here today. Uh, what I did is I picked up these cheap microfiber towels from Dollar Tree. And to be fair, I was fighting with pins. So I just said, screw it. I'm going to do it freestyle. Now, some of y'all may not know, I can rebuild an engine, I can also sew. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start a few inches here from the back. I'm doing this in kind of what I might call a quick and dirty way. And uh, by that meaning, the proper way would be to fold this inside out and to uh, sew that way. Uh, let me make sure on seven five in the center. All right, and I have it set to auto tension on the thread. So let's go here. But do it slowly so that uh. And you'll see, and I'll show you in a little bit why I'm doing it this way. Because I want a certain stitch to be better. Well, I don't know about better, but easier. So we hit the corner. And I probably should have went a little further towards the corner, but that's okay. This is not supposed to be a thing of beauty. And you also want to make sure you don't sew yourself to a, to your project. I'm kind of following this line right here. Unfortunately, I can't really... I, I don't have the equipment to... You know... Well, anytime you make adjustments, you want to make sure that the uh, needle's down. So it doesn't pull out of your work and then... Uh, And then, you know, you got to fight with it again. This will walk a little bit because I, I don't have the steadiest hand, which is why I didn't want to do it freestyle. But I was fighting with the pins, and I'm like, you know what? I don't really care. Now, if I was doing the inside out, like you should, doing it freestyle really doesn't matter at all. Because it's easier to hide your mistakes. The person I've given this to is not going to care one bit. Now what are we making? What we're making is a homemade heating pad. What that is, I'll show you in a minute how you turn this into a heating pad. Now, normally I use dish towels for this, but the ones that they had at Dollar Tree this time were very scrap, like very scratchy. They weren't nice at all. This is actually turning out quite horrible. But like I said, this is really just a an idea guide. This isn't really. I was having some issues and I'm just like I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it work. This is not even at all, so what I may end up doing, I don't know. I'll figure it out once I get there. You know what the second one I'm gonna show you how to do the right way. So what I have to do now is get this as even as I can on this side. And I have to try to to keep it centered that way. 
I can actually see the line, luckily. Yeah, I'm pretty much right on it. This will not... This will probably not be the one I'm going to get on. This is just a practice one. I mean, it wasn't initially, but it is now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Excuse me. How often do you see that on Sewn Channel? Is that even a thing, Sewn Channel? Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew to basically an inch or so of where we started. And I'm going to reverse a little bit, go back forward, and there's a little cutter right here, although I do have scissors here somewhere. And here's where part two is going to come in. Oh, wow. I don't know if you can hear that rain hit my window or not. But give me one second to set up for part two. Now I may or may not make a big fool of myself here. And also cause myself to have to vacuum my floor pretty bad. I don't think I'm going to need this funnel looking at this. Wow. What this is is regular rice. This is cheap. You can pick it up anywhere. I'm going to take this and uh, I'm off camera I know yeah I'm gonna stick the funnel in here I think it'll be easier this way hold the funnel and uh, apparently rice does not go through a funnel very well or at least not this one. If I do it slowly, it'll be just fine. I usually use a different type of funnel for this, but uh, I don't have that one available at the moment. Uh, I'm not going to make you put, watch me put two bags in. With these 32 ounce uh, bags or two pounds each, this thing's gonna want <sighs> gonna have to put two bags in this one. It actually might take more. Ah, crap! I just got rice on my carpet. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in this way and then I'm going to do the same thing with the other one luckily I didn't get a whole lot of race on it so just one second now on second thought I'm going to highly recommend that you have a proper style funnel as I just had to vacuum probably quarter pound of rice off my uh carpet here. So 
So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start basically where we, a little bit before where we finished. And I'm going to go, like, go forwards. Oh, hold on. I had to put my uh, pedal back in place after I, uh, after I fix this, <laughs> or vacuumed. So we're going to go forward just a little bit, go in reverse, go forward, that's just to make a good final stitch. Uh, something's wrong. I have no idea what's wrong, so I'm going to restart that. Alright, where did I finish off? Or where did I... Oh, crap. I did not get that right. Take the tip of my... Alright. So I'm not sure what just happened. So I'm going to go back where did I finish off? Basically right here. See, this is this what I consider This would be a good beginner project for kids be honest because they can make something that they could use and uh, even though I got scissors right here so this didn't turn out nearly as pretty as I was hoping it would and I wasn't even really hoping it would turn out pretty at all this is basically just me practicing because I have not sewed sewed in a while See, this one here is still very much usable, and I know it'll get good use. Basically, I'm just cutting all these threads up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to retool, and I'm going to make another one. But this time, I may just do it absolutely right. Because what's the point of putting something on YouTube unless it's done right, right? Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh... Ah, so here's what the finished project, project looks like. Now this, like I said, you can use this right now as it sits. But it's a little bit... Uh... A little bit wonky, but what you do is you put this in the microwave for like three to five minutes, and you have at least 45 minutes to an hour's worth of heat out of that. But right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, make sure I have enough rice to do a second bag, and then I'm going to, uh, if not, I may cannibalize this one. And then what I'm going to do is show you how I would do it if I was doing it properly so thank so I'll be back all right so here's take number two or one depending on how I decide to edit this so I conveniently have a green headed pin here at start and a red one at stop but I already <laughs> know how I want to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this down and pull this pin out. Now I can already tell you that this is the worst thing I've ever had to sew. This type of material. So I'm going to go ahead Okay. That's new. I'm going to go ahead and try to Try this one more time. Alright, everything seems to be alright. 
Bueno. Although it does look like I'm almost out of bobbin, which may or may not be the case. Alright, hit it a little bit in reverse, go again. And, uh, just like the other one. So uh, this is not exactly even. Which is not going to matter because I have it inside out at the moment. Alright. Now I can see the line here and I can also feel it. But you definitely want to be careful if it is overlapping a little bit. That you get it fairly straight. Now the other thing you gotta be careful of is that whatever is going on. Oh, okay. What happened here is there's a little bit of fuzz coming off of this uh, fabric and it caught on my uh, on my foot here. Now because I'm inside out that's not a big mistake to fix. Although that wasn't really my mistake, that was this crappy material I'm selling with. Oh man, I came on the... Uh, I'm threaded. course when I'm not on camera I can thread a needle within like half a second when I'm on camera underneath all these lights suddenly I can't do squat <laughs> so again we got to make sure that when we uh, line this up that we're uh, that we got both sides. I'm gonna go ahead and now that came out from under the foot, which is probably what happened the first time. All right, so let's kick her in reverse just so we make a strong seam. Yeah, and of course I've got some white pens here. Now, I'm not going to do the proper finishing stitch. Not on these. Although, I should show you that. I don't, right now, I'm a little frustrated, so I don't have the patience for that. So, what I'm going to do is show you the lazy way out of it. And quite honestly, I saw several professional YouTube videos do this the same way. So, <laughs> guess which way I'm doing it. And I also don't care that I'm using black thread with a, a white towel. I just keep hearing Facebook going off on my own computer over there. Now that I'm on camera, I'm not going to say some of the things I've said. <laughs> Excuse me again. I just drank Mountain Dew for like the first time in a week, so. A little, uh. <laughs> See, the way I'm doing this now is the same way you do a pillow or several other types of things. Technically, the way uh, 
some of the professionals would tell you to do it would be to uh, have two separate pieces of fabric rather than uh, have one that you're uh, folded in half. do as we're near the end. We already saw loading this thing with uh, rice. It's a tedious process and you already know that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load it with rice which you already know is a pain in the you know what. But I'm going to come back and show you how to do the stitch. still cut these off just to be professional about it. Uh, not that it's really necessary. Alright, so I'm probably not going to pull all of them off. And then what we're going to do, and this is why it's important to reinforce that stitch, is we're going to turn it inside out. And by turning it inside out, you really hide a lot of those mistakes you made. This is your first sewing project. This is really a good thing for you to do. This or a pillow. You know what? I found some leftover fabric while I was taking everything out. Should I make a pillow? <laughs> See, this is what it's going to look like now. And then, uh... So now I'm going to go ahead and load this with rice, but this time I'm going to do this over a giant container in my kitchen rather than my uh, carpet. I had one of those eureka moments while I was in the uh, kitchen. I cut the funnel so that it has a larger opening. Now of course I did this with a kitchen knife so it's not perfect. So I have seen some YouTubers with much higher quality production than mine do what I'm about to do. So I have to assume that they are professional. So I am on the other side of this opening. forward hopefully I'm still on this because it looks like I am doing it this way is not a way I would normally condone Crap, I'm gonna have to go all the way to the end with this. I need to, I need to make sure that this uh, does not leak. So, again, this is not what I would call professional, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and kick it that way too it almost sounds 
That is the end of my bobbin. No, it's not. Alright. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to snip these off. I'm going to tell you right now, the person that's... This may not be beautiful, but the person who's going to get it will love it. They want it to a homemade present by somebody they love. So, what I've done is I've actually made two of these. One, you could say, is more <laughs> finished than the other. But, what we have here is two finished rice bags, neither of them leak. Thank God. And like I said with the other one, you throw this in the microwave for five minutes, you got yourself close to two hours of heat. So this one looks a lot better from the outside than the other one. So I want to thank you very much for watching and have a blessed day.